Okay, so things are really starting to heat up with regards to Jurassic World 2, uh, both metaphorically and uh, literally in the film. Uh, we got the teaser trailer coming out tomorrow, and today this has been released. It's a extended first look and teaser trailer for Jurassic World. It comes from Entertainment Access's YouTube channel. That's where I'm looking at it. Link to that video is down below. So if you haven't seen this already, go and check it out first. Um, so let's just um, click through and take a look at the footage. I'm just going to adjust the volume so I can uh, talk to you guys over the top. So we open with this first image. This must be Lockwood Manor. Um, it looks really atmospheric, really cool, and we've got the theme of Jurassic Park playing over the top. We've got these onset images mixed in between. So here's our first look at a new character. And this appears to be an animatronic eye. Now this eye looks absolutely amazing, and um, from what I can tell this is the Indoraptor, the new dinosaur hybrid. Um, for Jurassic World 2 looks amazing these lovely little micro movements that its eye is making it just it, it just looks incredible more onset imagery we've got this really nice image of the Jurassic World gates all dilapidated and you can see there's the uh, monorail which is crashed and fallen it's covered in vines just a very cool image let's move on Jurassic Spark. I, I want that t-shirt. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, so they're obviously building vehicles. Here's, um, I think some of this might have leaked. Uh, we knew that there was a helicopter being filmed over Pinewood. Um, very cool image here. We've got the bones of an Ankylosaurus by the looks of it, with some military vehicles going in. Definitely feels like, sort of like the in-gen intervention in The Lost World. New characters again. Big explosion in this underground complex that we've seen. If you've been following online, you'll see that um, the Baryonyx appears in somewhere that looks like this, an underground station. So here's some big explosions. Looks like we're going to get a lot of explosions in this film, and um, that's not necessarily something that's ever really been in a Jurassic Park movie. Explosions haven't really been a focal point for Jurassic Park movies, so... I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that. Like, I'm, I'm not really going to see the film for explosions, and the volcano is inevitably going to be loads of explosions. So, I don't know. I feel like that could either hit or miss. But we'll wait and see. It's exciting anyway. This image is really cool. You can see all the characters in the back of the military vehicle. Um, this guy on the right looks like Lionel Richie. No word of a lie. That's Lionel Richie there. You heard it here first. But you can see lots of new characters in here, here and here, and um, yeah, just looks really cool. Movies, we have a new director, Juan Antonio Bayona. Interesting image in the background. Let's go back to that image of J.A. Bayona. Interesting image here of the dinosaur in the background. It's got something hanging from its mouth. I don't know if that's just been put on jokily by one of the members of the set, but it's really nicely lit, and I think that is actually a real model in the background. I'm assuming so anyway because we've seen images of the model. It just it looks like a painting that's come to life. Um, and this goes back to something I said in an earlier video whether we're going to be dealing with poachers of, of real life dinosaurs in this film. Like is this a real life stuffed dinosaur because it looks so real and um, maybe that's something that we're going to deal with. Some nice onset images. Nice to see J.A. talking about the film. He says he likes suspense here, and I just think that's fantastic. That's one of the things that was lacking in Jurassic World. Um, probably bar the um, the IREX scene in Jurassic World, which worked really well for me. So this is when the Baryonyx is approaching, and this has been confirmed by Colin Trevorrow that that is actually the Baryonyx there. So that looks really cool. Now this is probably one of the most interesting shots um, coming up here. Got all returning characters, new ones. Let's go back. Okay, so let's have a look at these new characters and just hold on these frames. So we've got Henry Wu's back, obviously. Here we've got the new characters, another new character in the background. I've speculated that maybe this guy is Dodgson, but we'll have to wait and see. And here is 
our new stand-in John Hammond. And you can see he's even got an amber egg on his wheelchair or cane. Uh, so you definitely get a, uh, a John Hammond feel from this guy. And that's obviously Lockwood, who's supposed to be Hammond's old business partner when they created Jurassic Park. Now, look at this. Ian Malcolm is back. Now, this is really cool. And if you've been following me on Twitter, I said I'm really pleased to see this because for me, this is a sanity check on what happened in Jurassic World. Why was no one saying, hang on, guys, is it a good idea to make a theme park with dinosaurs going on everything that's happened in the Jurassic Park history? And it feels like we're finally getting that sanity check in the form of Ian Malcolm, which is really good to see. So hopefully we get some um, more reasoning in this film. Really cool image here of the Carnotaurus which, you know, we didn't know was in the film. So it looks like a, an oversized hand puppet. Let's go back. Yeah, it looks like an oversized hand puppet of sorts. But I suppose the Carnotaurus is smaller than, uh, than other dinosaurs, so they might be, it might actually be that size. This raptor blue head looks fantastic. Looks really good. Looks like they've updated it versus the onset um, blue head that we saw in Jurassic World, which was actually only used as a stand-in and then was actually they CGI'd over the top so this is really cool to see as well and it looks really nicely sculpted much more on model so that gives me a lot of hope for the Raptors again really nice images of the T-Rex look at that so it looks like that's a maybe a one-fifth scale bust made from the Stan Winston molds maybe and in the background we've got some sort of someone said this might be a Suchomimus but if you look it's got a really like distinctive profile it seems like its nose almost hangs bulbous over the end so maybe it's got a really distinctive look to it so again here's the animatronic raptor blue you can see it being airbrushed there looks really nice lots of animatronics new animatronics there's the t-rex there's a really nice shot coming up yes of the t-rex roaring look at that Look at that, that looks fantastic. I have to say, for some reason, the eye area on this animatronic looks a little bit off, and also the scales look a little bit tight across this nasal area. There's something about it is just slightly off, but it's still really great looking. I just love these images. This reminds me of The Lost World. I love the use of the mirror there, which is obviously, you know, a callback to Jurassic Park. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. So yeah, just really nice imagery here. And here is Blue. Now, Blue seems to jump into the frame really quickly. <laughs> Almost like he's bounding into the shot like a happy dog. And I think that this might be the shot where Blue is reunited with Owen. It just has that sort of happiness to it. And actually, I'm just going to slow down my, uh, my speed here so that we can watch this a little bit slower so you can see what I mean. So here's Owen. And then here comes Blue, and he's all happy, and he's a bit like a dog. So yeah, I thought that was really cool to see. Okay, let's go back to normal speed. Let's play through it. So we've seen this already. And actually, they play this again at the end. But this has got nice Jurassic Park-themed music over the top. Let me know what you guys think of the music as well. I think it's um, a fairly faithful updating of the theme oh interesting let's go back there was a guy there in a yellow jacket looks like an original jurassic park jacket is it possibly yeah so this all looks really cool underwater in the gyrosphere this is all new information for us there's a t-rex some of the key cast members Who's this? Wow. Okay, so here we've got a shot of the Indoraptor there with someone here on the right-hand side. I'm not sure who this is. Doesn't look like Lockwood, um, but this is definitely the Indoraptor. And here's this beautiful shot of Baby Blue from a different angle. And you can see we do have the mural from the visitor center in the background. Here's the T-Rex. Again, this looks like uh, the animatronic puppet that was leaked, uh, but it has been augmented with CG to make it more accurate. So you can see here, 
that's actually been augmented with CG to make it look more accurate, which is cool because it does look more accurate. And it's very reminiscent of what we see in the Lost World. Really cool. And here we see the new Jurassic World logo. I'm actually a big fan of this new logo. I think it really puts a nice twist on what was before just that burnished metal look. And I was kind of getting tired of that. So it's nice to see this being backlit to highlight the logo. I think that's a really nice, nice way to change the logo. And the trailer's gonna land tomorrow. So I will be doing a full review on that. I just thought I'd let you guys hear my thoughts on this clip. Go and check it out. Link is down below if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.